Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name's Alan and I am back again this week with another LogSeq video. In my first video, I talked through how I use LogSeq to boost my organization and boost my productivity at work. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend that you go watch that video first. But to summarize, in my opinion, a good personal knowledge management system should allow you to store, organize, and retrieve information as well as connect ideas with as little friction as possible. At work, I use LogSeq to accomplish this by adding all of my notes to LogSeq's daily journal. As I type, I tag important concepts to create pages that LogSeq self-organizes for me. Finally, I make it a policy to only put the same piece of data in one place. If I need it somewhere else, I reference it instead of retyping it. Now, this strategy is well and good for typing my own notes, but one thing I didn't mention in my first video was how I organize notes from external sources like PDFs and books. So that's gonna be what we focus on today. How can we use LogSeq to organize notes from external sources with as little friction as possible? And the first area that I wanna start with is PDFs. So as a professional, I'm constantly dealing with PDFs. And the most common way that I interact with these and I need to have them in my notes is with policy documents. A single policy document might contain sporadic information that I need and the information might span multiple pages. Now, if you're watching this and you're a student or a researcher, you might face something similar. Maybe you have a study, a research paper, or an article. What would be the best strategy for getting all of that information from your PDFs into LogSeq? Well, you might be tempted to open the PDF and just start transcribing it into LogSeq, maybe onto one or multiple pages, but there's a much better way. Let's jump into LogSeq and take a look. Okay, here we are. Today, I've got this PDF that contains some new company policies about the dress code. Typing these notes out would just create friction, so instead, I'm gonna add this PDF to my LogSeq graph as an asset. And based on my philosophy of only storing the same piece of information in one place, I'm not going to retype the notes. First, let's upload the PDF and I'll show you what I mean. There are two ways to add PDFs into your graph as assets. The first is to use the slash command button and type upload. Choose upload an asset and navigate to your PDF using the file picker. The easier way, if you have the PDF handy, is to just drag and drop it onto your journal like so. This will create a double bracketed link to the asset that's preceded by a little pile of books emoji. The magic starts when you click on that link to open up LogSeq's native PDF reader pane on the left. Within this pane, you can read through your PDF and if you're looking for a specific word or phrase, there's even a full text search available. If there's something noteworthy, I recommend using the PDF highlighting feature. To do this, select the text that needs saving and a pop-up will appear with color options. Once the text is highlighted, right-click it and choose Copy Reference, then paste that into your journal. This approach has several advantages over just typing the notes out besides that reduction in friction that I mentioned before. The first, once again, is that it adheres to that good data practice of only storing the same piece of information in one place. The second is that now the text is fully searchable in your graph and it can be tagged with backlinks. The third is that the reference will link directly to the page in the PDF and clicking on it will take you to that broader context. For this reason, sometimes I'm less tempted to highlight full pages and paragraphs, and I find myself just highlighting headings or the first sentence, knowing that I can click on the link and read the broader context later. And here's a bonus tip. There are also AI apps out there like PDF.ai that allow you to upload a PDF and receive an instant summary of the PDF. You may also choose to copy and paste the summary into LogSeq to easily see what it's about with some links to specific details and pages pasted in as references. Oh, and one last thing, just because it didn't fit anywhere else. If you ever go back into your PDF, you can click on the icon that looks like a bulleted list at the top and LogSeq will show you all of your highlights for that document. 
Okay, so next up I have a tip that I don't often use for work, but I think that any students or researchers using LogSeq will really appreciate, and it has to do with managing book highlights. Allow me to set the stage for you by sharing an example of how I use this in my own personal life. I love birds and bird watching, and recently I wanted to learn more about how to properly clean and set out my bird feeders for the winter. I rented a few books from my library and I opened them up on my Kindle app. As I read them, I highlighted some of the information that I found helpful. Once I was done with the books and I returned them to the library, all I was left with was several documents full of my highlights. If I wanted to organize this information into my own personal LogSeq knowledge base, how would I do this? Well, I could type in the notes, but again, we're trying to avoid adding friction to our workflows, so if possible, we're gonna want a better way. I could copy and paste the notes, but there is an even easier way, if you're willing to pay a little extra for a third-party service called Readwise. Readwise is this really cool web app that can take all of your notes from services like Kindle, Apple Books, Google Play Books, and more, and save them all into one place for you. And very conveniently, they have built an official plugin for LogSeq. I have mine set up to sync automatically into my daily journal whenever I open LogSeq. The import process creates a new page with all of my highlights for that book and then backlinks to my journal. And it even notes the day that I added the notes. The process isn't completely without friction though. I still go through the highlights and tag any important concepts that I wanna to refer to later. For example, I added the tag bird feeders anytime that topic came up. Now I have organized all my notes from several sources onto one page and I can start putting my plan together. With PDFs and book highlights covered, I would say that at this point 95% of my needs are met. Really the only frontier left for us to conquer is content from the World Wide Web. This is another tip that's especially going to be useful for those students and researchers that are watching. There are times when I come across articles and websites that have really good information that I just want to save for reading later. I also get email newsletters sent to me that always end up just lost in my mailbox. Hey, I'm even subscribed to a few RSS feeds if you know what those are. The question is, is it possible to organize all of this chaos somehow into LogSeq with minimal friction? And the answer is yes. There's this really awesome free web app that was built to address this specifically, and it's called Omnivore. So Omnivore is what I'd call a read it later app. It's kind of like Pocket or Instapaper if you're familiar with either of those. But Omnivore takes it a step further than those apps, and it can even do things like generate a custom email address just for your email newsletters. And it'll even save the text for you in the app. And with the free browser extension and even an iOS app, if you happen to be an iPhone user, you can save any website easily into Omnivore. The app will strip out all of the junk and the ads from the website and it'll save just the content that you want. And once the content is added, as you read through it, you can highlight the content in Omnivore in the same way that you do on a Kindle or another ebook reader. And to top it all off, Omnivore has both a plugin for LogSeq and a built-in integration with Readwise, the app we mentioned before. This means that you can potentially just save your highlights in Omnivore and let your Readwise plugin import process bring them into LogSeq for you automatically. Honestly, Omnivore is too good to be free, so I would check it out and sign up for an account while it still is. Okay, so that was all a lot of information. Just to quickly summarize. When I type my daily notes, I make sure to enter those into my daily journal, and I tag concepts as I go. This allows LogSeq to handle the organizing for me. When I have PDFs to manage, I don't waste time typing or copying and pasting, I just use LogSeq's built-in PDF feature, highlighting key passages and referencing them in my journal as I go. For books and highlights, I rely on a third-party plugin called Readwise. I save websites, newsletters, and RSS feeds into Omnivore, and I import them into LogSeq using that same Readwise plugin. All of this virtually guarantees that I can enter 99% of my notes into LogSeq with as little friction as possible. Hey, I'll see you in the next video.